Landscape lighting not only improves your home's curb appeal, but also helps increase exterior safety and security. In this video, we're going to show you just how easy it is to install a Kitchler Low Voltage Landscape Lighting System using common tools you probably already own with just 10 steps. Step 1. Plan the project. Begin by sketching a rough outline of the area of your home you wish to light. Be sure to include walkways, landscaping and any features you wish to highlight, as well as the nearest outdoor GFCI outlet, also known as a ground fault circuit interrupter. Plug in any 120 volt device to test the GFCI outlet. For this project, we used a combination of path lights for the main walkway, wall wash lights to bring light to the garage, and floodlights to highlight the front of the home. It's important to calculate the transformer load to determine the wire that is needed. We are using a 12 gauge wire for our entire project. The transformer is the key piece of this project. It will take the 120 volt power from our home and step it down to 12 volts. Step 2. Mount the transformer. Always call 811 before you dig to locate underground utilities. In many cases, you can mount the transformer directly to your house. In our project, because of the stonework, we will need to mount it to a 4x4 post. Install the post and mount your transformer at least 12 inches above the ground. Don't plug it in just yet. Step 3. Assemble and place the lights. Assemble your lights and then, starting with the last light in the run, lay out your lights in their approximate locations and consider it a test fit. Be sure to check that you are happy with the light placement. Step 4. Lay out the landscape cable. Make sure you keep the cable within the landscape bed. Use an edger, spade, or a shovel and dig a narrow trench at least 6 inches deep in the dirt. In some cases, you may need to cross the cable over a walkway. On this project, we will be hiding the cable by tucking it between the stonework and the concrete. If this option isn't available, you may need to locate an additional GFCI outlet and install a second transformer to run your cable to. Step 5. Install the stakes and lights. Here you will install your stakes for the fixtures by hand and check the placement. Once you are happy with the placement, finish driving in the stakes with a rubber mallet or regular hammer. Now you're ready to install the lights to the stakes. Step 6. Connect the lights to the wire. Pass the low voltage transformer supply wire through the connector base. Insert the fixture wire into the contact plate. Firmly push the wire onto the contact pins with the press plate. Place the top cover over the press plate and snap it into the contact plate locking tabs. Pass the low voltage transformer supply wire through the connector base. Match the wire types to the connector, smooth to smooth and rigid to rigid. Screw the top cover and bottom base together tightly to drive the transformer wire onto the contact pins on the inner side of the contact plate. Step 7. Connect the wires to the transformer. Check the directions that came with your transformer and connect the wires. Once complete, you are ready to plug in the transformer to the GFCI outlet. Step 8. Test the system. Do all the lights work? If your lights are working properly, place the cable into the trench, cover it with dirt, and then cover with ground cover. Step 9. Program the lights. It's time to set the programmer for the transformer. You can choose the times for your lights to turn on and off. Use the photocell option to turn on at dusk and off at dawn, or use the photocell to turn it on and the timer to turn it off. Refer to the instructions for additional program options. Step 10. Set your lights. Adjust the angles of your spotlights as needed by loosening the adjustment screws on the sides and positioning them where you want them. Finish up by tightening the screws. Check your work at night to make any final adjustments. The only thing left is to sit back and enjoy your lights.